Hello children I am Madhumita ma'am and welcome back to this wonderful and interesting journey of maths Now children in the last episode we had learnt about parts how to find out the parts from the wholes and how do we calculate the parts from the wholes so today we will continue this journey of par parts and wholes and we will find out how to compare the parts and how do we find out that some parts can be equal to so children let's learn something very very interesting and nice to learn so children ramu is a vegetable farmer so he is growing lot of vegetable in his field so what he has done he has divided his field into nine equal parts and he is growing different types of vegetables there so today we are going to find out how he is growing the vegetables how much is the quantity of the vegetable or maybe how it is a part of the vegetable which vegetable is grown in the maximum quantity which vegetables are grown in the minimum quantity and which vegetables are grown in equal quantities so when we have to compare the parts we have to first find out what are the different parts in this now tell me children what are the different vegetables grown over here yes the different vegetables are chili potato brinjal tomato and spinach these are the things which are he is growing right now so for that we have to find out that why what are the vegetables which are being grown in which part so to do, do that let's count uh, count how many total parts are there yes just count it out yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 you can see that the whole thing is divided into nine equal part so let's see the questions now which vegetable grows in the biggest part of his field so children when we have to find out which vegetable grows in the biggest part of the field what is the meaning of this sentence that means which vegetables are grown in the maximum parts so for that we have to count out the individual vegetables on individual parts so let's see now there are uh, there are different vegetables as i told chili we can find out this is the first vegetable is chili then it is potato then it is brinjal then next is tomato and the last one is spinach so can you find out what is the part on or what is the part of that field on which chili is grown yes i had told you in the last episode also we have to find out from the whole the part divided by whole is the part taken out of the whole so now the, the whole field is divided into nine nine parts and chili is grown out of that in only in one part yes so you can find out yourself by counting the parts how it is the part on which potato is grown yes potato is grown on 2 by 9 parts and brinjal is grown on again you just count and find out yes it is again 2 by 9 parts and tomato let's see tomato what is the part on which tomato is grown can you count yes it is 1 by 3 by 9 parts so tomato is grown on three parts out of nine parts similarly children what uh, what is the part on which spinach is grown yes it is 1 by 9 parts so now children you can see that this is chili is grown in 1 by 9 potato is grown in 2 by 9 brinjal is grown in 2 2 by 9 tomato is grown in 3 by 9 and spinach is grown in 1 by 9 So now let's see the questions. It is very easy. After you find out the chili, potato, brinjal, the parts on which it is grown, you can find out the answers yourself very easily. So when we compare the first question, which vegetable grows in the biggest part of the field? 
So when we compare any fraction, we have to see if the parts are the same. Here the parts are the same, 9 part, 9 part, 9 part, 9 part, 9 part. Out of 9 part, which part is maximum? That means which upper number? Part is, I had told you, it is the number which is on the top. That is a part from the whole. So can you see here and find out on your own that which part is the maximum, the largest number out of it? Yes, children, it's very easy. Just find out and they tell me this is 1 by 9, 2 by 9, 2 by 9, 3 by 9 and 1 by 9. So which number do you think is the largest out of it, the upper number? Yes, it is tomato. So tomato is the vegetable which grows in the biggest part of this field. Next is on what part of the field does he grow potatoes? This we have already found out. Potato grows on 2 ninth part of the field. Next is what part of the field is used to grow spinach? You have already found out. It is 1 by 9 part of the field is spinach is grown. Now you can write your own questions by just seeing these numbers and making your own questions. So I will just give you one hint. I will have made my own one question. You can make your own questions. Very interesting thing to do. So let me ask you one question from my side. Which two vegetables are grown equal in number? Which two vegetables are grown equal in number? Yes, you can tell that potato and brinjal as well as chili and spinach are grown equal in number because potato and brinjal are grown on two parts out of nine parts and chili and spinach are grown on one part out of nine parts. So they are equal in number. So children, can you make your own questions? Yes, you can have a lot of questions out of it. Just think and find out your own questions and ask your friends. Now, let's go to the next slide. Now, Ramu is a very generous person. Whatever vegetable he has grown, he wants to give it to his friend. Just like Banju, who has given her chocolate, chocolate to all, his, all her friends. So, now, today Ramu wants to give the vegetables to his friends. So, let's see how he is distributing his vegetables to the friends. So, Ramu wanted to give vegetables. So, he gave Abu Bakar one-fifth of the tomatoes and one-third of the potatoes. And Shriza got two-fifths of the tomatoes and three-sixths of the potatoes. Nancy got the rest of the vegetable. Now, first we have to find out to find out how many vegetables, how many tomatoes Abu Bakar got and how many potatoes Abu Bakar got. We have to first find out what is the number that is for the whole number of potatoes and whole number of tomatoes. Whenever we want to find out the parts, we first have to find out what is the value of the whole. That means we have to count that how many tomatoes are there and how many potatoes are there. So, count down now. By the time I erase, you just keep on counting how many tomatoes are there and how many potatoes are there. Now, did you finish counting how many total number of potatoes and how many total number of tomatoes are there? So, let me just write down the total number of total number of tomatoes are I think you must have finished counting. So, total number of tomatoes are 20. And how many total number of potatoes are there? The total number of total number of potatoes are yes children keep on counting is equals to 18. So, when we found out the total number of tomatoes and total number of potatoes then only we can find out how many potatoes Abu Bakar got, how many potatoes Srija got. So, now Abu got one-fifth of these tomatoes. To find out the one-fifth of these tomatoes, first we have to find out what is the part which he has got. So, Abu got one part out of five parts. That means Abu got one-fifth of 
tomatoes, one fifth of tomatoes. So, let us find out what are the 5 parts. So, 5 parts that is a whole. So, 5 parts is equals to 20 that is 20 tomatoes. So, one part will be as you know what are we going to do 20 divided by 5 is equals to 4 tomatoes, 4 tomatoes. Now, let us see how many potatoes Abu is going to get. Abu is going to get one third of the potatoes. So, let us find out one third of potatoes. So, how many total number of potatoes are there? There are 18 potatoes. That means the total parts are 3 parts. So, we have to find out if 3 parts are 18, what is the value of 1 part? So, 3 parts is equals to 18 because we are calculating the total number of uh, potatoes. So, 18 are the total number of potatoes and we have to divide it into 3 parts. So, 1 part will be 18 divided by 3 is equals to 6. So, Abu got 4 tomatoes and 6 potatoes. Understood children? So, now you have to find out on your own how many tomatoes Srija got and how many potatoes Srija got. So, I will give you one clue. Now, when we are dividing the whole into parts, you have to always see the bottom part that this is the number of parts from which you are calculating how many parts they have got. So, Srija got two fifth of the tomatoes. That means you are going to divide tomatoes into five equal parts and out of which you will find out two parts. Got it? You can do it. And also for the potatoes, first you have to find out divide the potatoes into six equal parts because Srija is getting three sixth of the potatoes. So, divide the potatoes into 6 equal part, then out of which you will find out 3 parts for which Srija is getting. And after that, what we can do? We can find out the total number of potatoes got by Abu Bakr and Srija. Total number of tomatoes got by Abu Bakr and Srija. You just then minus it, subtract it from the total number of potatoes and tomatoes. You will find out how many Nancy has got. It's simple. You can do it on your own as you now you know how to find out the parts and holes. Now, let us go to the next one and let us see that circle it is written circle Abu Bakr share in blue and circle Srija's share in yellow. Now, can you find out on your own? Yes, then let us see what is the answer. Now, total number of tomatoes, I, as I had told you, I have already explained you, 6 potatoes and 4 tomatoes Abu Bakr has got. Now, Srija got 2 fifth of the tomatoes. So, if one part is equal to 4, two parts will be equal to 4 into 2, 8 tomatoes. And Srija got 3 sixth of the potato. So, here, as I had told you, divide 18 into 6 parts. So, one part will be 3 potatoes. And she got 3 parts out of those uh, say, uh, 6 parts. So, 3 into 3, 9 potatoes. Now, you understood how easy it is to just find out when you just know the parts and holes, that easy calculation and how easily you can manage to find the number out of it. And now, I have circled it, the number got by Abu Bakr and the number got by Srija. Srija has got in yellow color, the ones which are circled are yellow color and the one which are circled in blue is for Abu Bakr. So, can you do it on your own in your book? Yes, it is easy. Just find out how to do it and also find out how many potatoes and Nancy has uh, tomatoes Nancy has got. That you have to do it on your own. Now, let us go to the next one. Yeah, this is a very good game which you can play with your friends. Now, this is for this game, you need four friends and each one will have one circle. Each one will have one circle and you will divide that circle into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 parts. You have to divide the circle into 12 equal parts and make a chit out of it. And when you have to like make a, a circle, 
fraction chit like 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 6. Make a chit means make, write down that fraction in a small piece of paper and keep it in the middle. Now, when you want to play with your friends, what we can do? You just shuffle the tokens and shuffle the uh, tokens are nothing but the chits which you have written and make a pile in the middle. Now, you are ready to start the game. So, what we have to do? You have to do the first player takes a token out of it and when he sees that what is the value of the fraction written on the uh, that token, if it is written 2 by 12, so what he will do? He will color the two parts out of 12 parts in any color. That is, you can decide on your own or you can give any color to color. Maybe it is can be grow, it, it can be green, it can be blue. So, after he finishes coloring, he will keep back that chit. Then the next player picks it up and sees what is the number, what is that fraction written? If it is written 1 by 6, how you will do? Now you have divided the circle into 12 parts. So, how you will find out 1 by 6 part out of it? For that, you have to now imagine that 12, the circle is divided into 6 parts or you can just find out by multiplying 1 by 6 into 2 in the numerator and in the denominator that is the number in the parts and number in the whole. That I will show you how to do it now. Now, if your friend has got 1 by 6 and you have divided the circle into 12 parts, your friend has to color 1 by 6 part of the circle and the circle is divided into 12 parts. So, how we will do? It is written 6, there are no 12 parts. For that, we can convert this 1 by 6 into the number having equal number of parts that is 12. So, 1 by 6 is nothing but you can just multiply. What can you multiply in 6 to make 12? Yes, you can multiply 2 to make 12. 6, 6 into 2 is equals to 12. So, if you multiply 2 here, 6 into 2 here, you have to also multiply 2 in the numerator, 2 in the parts. This is called equivalent fraction. We will read about it with after this activity also. There is one more activity which I will show you which will make it very clear. So, 1 by 6 part is nothing but 2 parts out of 12 parts. So, your friend will also uh, color 2 parts out of 12 parts. Similarly, if another friend picks up her cheat 1 by 3, again the circle is divided into 12 parts. So, how will he play? He won't color it. No, he will definitely color it. So, the way I had told you, what will you multiply in 6 to get 12? 2. Similarly, what will you multiply in 3 to get 12? Do you remember about the like fractions? Yes, here we are making them the like fractions because when we multiply this number with the equal, the number on the top and the number on the bottom are the same, we are going to make equivalent fractions and all of the fractions as like fractions. 2 by 12, 1 by 12, 3 by 12, 4 by 12, they are all like fractions because when we convert it into like fractions, it becomes very easy for us to color. So, do you now can uh, now remember what should we multiply in 3 to get 12? Yes, you will multiply 4 in 3 to get 12. Similarly, what will you multiply in 1? The same number. The number which you have multiplied here, the same number you will multiply. You cannot multiply a different number. If you are multiplying 4 here, you have to multiply 4 here also. If you do not multiply also, it will be wrong. It cannot be 1 by 3 cannot be equal to 1 by 12. So, you have to multiply 4 here, 4 by 12. Now, can he color? Yes, very easy. 4 parts out of 12 parts. So, keep on playing like this and whoever colors the circle completely first, he is the winner. So, isn't it interesting? You can play it with your friends and it, first thing, it will give you an um, interesting game also. Next, it will be, it will give you a very good calculation also. 
you will be very thorough with your calculation. The ones who are good, good in maths, they can do it very easily. Now, children, to do this, first we have to find out what, uh, what part of each shape is colored. And you have to guess first, then you have to check your answer. Now, this type of questions, you have to always divide the whole thing into equal part. Then only we can understand how, how many parts are colored, how many are not colored. So, the first one, the first one, the one which is a tortoise having. So, I am doing that and you also start guessing about the other shapes. So, the first shape is a shape like this. One, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, then eight. Like this. This is the shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's understand now which part is colored. Now this part is colored. You can see from your figure, this part is colored in blue. And we have to find out what are the what is what are the different parts of it now if we divide this into equal parts so this will be the this will be the equal parts so now can you find out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 equal parts out of which how many parts are colored only one part is colored so one part out of eight part is colored Similarly, you can find out for the other shapes as well, divide it into equal parts and find out which part is colored and what is that fraction number which has been colored. Very easy. It is, it is a task for you and keep on doing like this so that you will understand the parts and holes in a better manner. Now, children, this activity will show us what is the meaning of equivalent fraction. Are there fractions which can be different in numbers but same in value? The way when we go to the market, if we give, a, we want to buy a 10 rupees thing and we give two 5 rupees coins, is the shopkeeper is, uh, will not give us the thing? No, he is going to give us the thing because the value of two 5 rupees coins is equals to 10 rupees only. So here in fraction also, there is something called equivalent fraction. For that, let's see, is it correct or not? So this is a circle and I have divided this circle into two equal halves. On each part will be, this is a full circle. So this part will be 1 by 2 and this part will also be 1 by 2. Now this circle is divided into two parts. So one half out of which half I will color in pink and half I will color in blue. Now, what is the part of the pink which is colored? So, let's see now on the board only the pink part, the colored pink part. So, pink part is equals to 1 by 2 and also the blue part is equals to 1 by 2 because I have divided the circle into two equal halves. Now, again, if I take this and divide further into two halves, you can see that this is divided into again two halves. I exactly I divided into two halves. I'll put I'll put a black line so that it will make it will be easier for us to understand. So here we go. This is the black line. This is divided. So now each small part is of what is the value of each small part? This part is one fourth, this part is one fourth, this part is one fourth, this part is one fourth because we have divided this half into another half. Now, can you tell me what is that part of the uh, which part, how many parts out of the whole part is colored in blue and how many parts are colored in yellow, uh, pink color? Yes, now we can tell here this is done. Now we have divided again into half. So the colored part, pink part is now is equals to how many parts? 1, 2. Out of how many total parts? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 
टू आउट ऑफ फोर टू पार्ट आउट ऑफ फोर पार्ट सिमिलरली ब्लू पार्ट इज ऑल्सो वन टू आउट ऑफ हाउ मेनी पार्ट वन टू थ्री फोर सो अगेन ब्लू पार्ट इज इक्वल्स टू टू बाई फोर पार्ट नाउ नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिवाइड दिस इन टू थ्री इक्वल पार्ट सो फॉर दैट वी कैन ड्रॉ लाइक दिस we can just divide into three equal parts you can always fold the paper and make it into three parts make it into three parts now you can see that it has been divided into three equal parts now let's put a line on this that this is one part this is second part and this is third part similarly we will divide the blue color into three equal parts this is one part two part and three parts so again blue also we will divide into three equal parts this is one part this is second part and this is third part so the pink color the total number of parts now is 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> and part of the uh, color uh, which is pink color is 1 2 3 and blue color is also 1 2 3 3 out of 6 Three out of six. Pink part is equals to three part out of six part, and blue part also. As we have divided into three equal parts, blue part is equals to three part out of six part. The last thing we are going to divide this further into four parts. Here again, you can just fold it back and let's see now. How? What are the total number of parts in pink part? One, two, then three and four. Here we can put a line so that you you will be able to understand in a better manner. So we can put it like this. So now, children, can you see one, two, three, four? Similarly, here also we will divide into four parts. The blue one we will divide into four parts. So let's see now. Here also we can just put lines. One, two, three, and four. Now the blue part is divided into four parts. Even even the pink part is divided into four parts. Now the question is, how many par pink parts are colored, and how many blue parts are colored? Can you count on your own? Yes, one, two, three, four. Out of how many parts? The total number of parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now the pink part is now the pink part is pink part is equals to four part out of eight part, and blue part is also four part out of eight part. Now let's see these numbers. Have I changed anything? Have I have I colored or done anything? No. I have just converted. I have just changed the circle into different parts, and but the pink remains the same. If you just fold it back, you just uh, fold it back. You just do like this. This is the pink part. This is the without any division. So what do you see? Half and half, isn't it? Half part blue and half part pink. So can we tell that one by two is equals to two by four? Is equals to three by six. Is equals to four by eight. Because we have not changed any colors, we have just divided the circle into different equal parts. Here we have divided the circle into two equal parts. Here we have divided the circle into four equal parts. Here into six and here into eight. So you can see that actually, though the numbers are looking different. Here one by two is written. The digits are different, but the value is same. The value of all these fractions are same, and they are known as equivalent fraction. They are known as equivalent fraction. What is the meaning of equivalent? Equal value. The fractions having equal value. That means one by two is nothing but two by four is equals to three by six. And is equals to four by eight. Can you see the pattern in the last uh, slide? I had told you you can multiply uh, two into two to make four. That same 
is multiplied, number is multiplied here, 1 into 2 equal to 2, so 2 by 4. Again, 2 into 3 is equal to 6, 1 into 3 is equal to 6, 2 into 4 is equals to 8, 1 into 4 is equals to 8. You can find any equivalent fraction of given fraction by multiplying the same number in the numerator and the same number in the different number. You can multiply 1000, you can multiply 2000, but you have to always multiply the same number in the part and as well in the whole. That means you have to find out in the numerator as well as in the denominator. I can also multiply 1 into 100, 2 into 100. The value will remain the same. Now, let us go to the next slide. Now, did you enjoy children? This is a very interesting activity. You can have your own shape and divide into equal parts and do it. Now, let us go to the next one. Now, Ramesh bought a piece of halwa for his children, Amu and Anu. Now, Amu and Anu are very fond of halwa. So, Ramesh has got a piece of halwa. But the halwa piece was big. So, he divided it into two equal parts to be given to his daughters because he has got two daughters. So, he divided it into equal halves. Then, Amu and Anu said that, Papa, this halwa piece is too big. Can you divide further? Can you divide it into small pieces? He said, okay. Again, he took that half and divided into half. Then Anu said, Father, this is also again big, can a bigger piece. So, can you just divide it into little smaller? He said, okay. Then he took that part and divided, further divided into half. So, you can see here that the first part here is shown over here. The, this is the biggest piece of halwa and it is divided into two equal parts. And next, this part is divided into two parts. This part is also divided into two parts. And further, when Anu requested to make it little smaller, this is also divided into two parts and all the, these pieces are divided into two parts. Now, can we tell these numbers in fraction? It's very easy. Just think about it and let me know. So, can you tell what is the first fraction or first uh, halwa which is divided over here? So, let's see. Now, what are the questions? Let's find out. Now, how many pieces each one will get? So, for that, let us count first. This is the total number of uh, pieces which uh, Ramesh has divided. What are the total number of pieces? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 pieces are there. So, if he divides 8 into 2 equal parts, how many parts each, piece, uh, each part will be? How many pieces? Each part will be 4 pieces. So, each will get Amu and Anu. Amu will get 4 pieces. Anu will also get 4 pieces. What part of the halwa is each piece now? Now, just think that the, the halwa is divided into 8 parts and each part will be how many parts out of the 8 part? 1 part. So, each small piece is now 1 eighth of the halwa. Now, next one is if Ramesh had cut the halwa into 6 equal parts, how many pieces would each one got? Now, this is very simple children, try to do it in your mind. Something which is divided into 6 equal parts and it is again given uh, half of that 6 equal parts is given to Ammu and half of that 6 equal parts is given to Anu. Just think and find out the answers on your own that because now that you know how to divide and how to find out the halves, you can find out on your own. Now, this is something related to the one which we have learned in the uh, last uh, slide that what is the meaning of equivalent fraction. So, here also we will find out, we will do this activity now. Now, children, look at this picture. This is a picture of the rectangle and what part of the strip is each green piece, we have to find out. Now, children, to find out this, for that we have to find out the parts of this a whole thing, we have to divide this rectangle into equal parts. Then we have to find out which part is green in color and how many parts are green in color. So, let us see what we can do. Now, this is the rectangle's uh, uh, perimeter. This is the boundary of the rectangle. Now, this rectangle is divided into four equal parts. This is one part. This is next part, second part. And this is the third part. And this is the fourth part and you can just 
fold it like this and find out the equal part just fold it like this you don't have to measure when you are finding out you can just because rectangle is a regular figure you can just find out by just folding like this and cut it or you can just uh, move it like this put a line and you can find out so these are four parts so each yellow part is how much if it is divided into four equal part so each part will be how much each yellow part will be yes children it is one fourth of the rectangle one fourth of the rectangle now the first question is how many one fourth will make a half how many one fourth will make a half you don't have to do any calculation you just can see the picture and find out how many one fourth will make a half now this is a rectangle if i remove this i have removed half of the figure so can you tell me how many one fourth will make a half yes you are correct one and two two one fourths will make a half you just have to find out what is the one what is one part of it it is one fourth so if you join two one fourths it will be exactly half of the rectangle so it how many one fourth two one fourths will make a half next question is how many one eighth will make one fourth for that we have to divide this rectangle into first eight equal parts then only we can find out so let's now divide it into eight equal part so what we can do we can just fold this one fourth paper this one fourth paper so that each paper will be divided into two equal half parts so here one two here then three then four we can put a line also for better understanding i just put a black line so that you will be able to understand so this is the line and this is the line which is divided now one now each part is each paper is divided into two equal parts now children if i put like this on this rectangle if i put like this on this rectangle now can you see that it is divided into now eight equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now it is divided into eight equal parts so how many 1/8 will make 1/4 now we know that this is 1/4 yes or no this is 1/4 of the uh, rectangle we have already found out so how many 1/4 are 1/8 are there e here if each small part is 1/8 and the bigger part is 1/4 this whole part is 1/4 so how many 1/8 are there how many 1/8 are there there are be two 1/8 to make a 1/4 there will be two 1/8 to make 1 1/4 and how many 1/8 are there in half just find out it is very simple 1 by 8 1 by 8 so here also each part is of 1 by 8 because now that we have divided into smaller pieces smaller parts so each part will be of 1/8 so can you tell me how many 1/8 will make half so 1/8 1/8 this is half of the rectangle yes or no this is half of the rectangle now if i have to find out how many 1/8 will make a half 1 2 3 4 so how many 1/8 are there in half there are four 1/8 in half so children it is very easy to do like this and the one the next question is which part of the strip is each green piece now you can see in your figure that it is further divided it is further divided into four parts for example this is this is divided into four again four parts so this is 1/8 and 1/8 and here this 1/8 is again divided into four parts so now each small part will be we can find out each this is one small part this is one small part this is one small part and this is one small part so if we divide 8 one by 8 one by 8 into four equal parts so each part will be 1 by 16 1 by 16 One by sixteen, one by sixteen. So, which part is colored now? The green color. So you can just see that this is the green color. We we can show it with the green color only. This is the green color, and I have divided into already four parts. So just find out 
Now this is divided into four equal parts. So each part will be 1 by 16, 1 by 16, 1 by 16 and 1 by 16. Now can you tell that which angle is green in color? Yes, 1 16th part of the rectangle is green color because it is divided into further equal parts. You can find out by dividing it into different parts by just folding into equal parts. So children, did you understand now how to go about it? So these are all equivalent fractions and like fractions. You have learnt many new things today. So remember that you can play games with it. Fraction is very interesting. You can very easily calculate the things by just with the pictures. You don't have to go for the calculation even only by little bit of imagination and little bit of uh, thinking you can find out all the answers. Now children, this is a very interesting puzzle for you, a task for you. You can color this a piece of square paper like this and show it to your friends and ask questions from this puzzle. And you can ask them which part is colored blue, which part is colored in green, are they equal, are the, the part colored in yellow and the part colored in orange are equal or if the part colored in blue is more than the part colored in orange, the just by calculation you can find out and find them find out the puzzle out of it and make different questions and give it to your friends. I, I hope you have enjoyed this session and I hope you have understood the uh, meaning of equivalent fractions, like fractions and all. So our uh, children keep on doing maths and keep on practicing so that you can be the best in maths. Thank you.